to say right now is that I'm going to send this out to Jeremiah. Now, it's not Jeremiah Lockwood, no, who's my teacher, but it's the other Jeremiah whose dad said, you watch my videos and you love my videos. So, Jeremiah, this one's for you. It's in the key of A. You are going to be a great resonating player. I promise you, we're not resonating today, but we are calling you out. Jeremiah, rock on. That right there, I finally got it. Oh, man. So, you wanted to, you wanted to go in, you wanted to talk about A today. Yeah, we do a lot in E, and I think I should learn some A. Like, I know some. So, the shuffle, which is basic, again. So, I again, and also understand, everybody, that I'm laying my palm on the strings. I'm not playing open like this. I'm, I'm deadening it a little bit with my palm. And when you play the A shuffle, it, shuffle, it's very similar to the E shuffle. So, you just start with your A. And you just cover, you know, you just uh, lay your index down and using your ring finger on the fourth fret, but on the third, on the fourth string instead of the fifth. And then you just move it down one. And back. And then you go, you go to the E. Back to the D. And to the A. And it ends on an E. And, and you know what else? So the 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 looking good is is in the key of A and it's very similar notes. I'm going to show you just another thing, just for the heck of it. So um, you know that we play looking good. Have you, you have we done looking good? No, we didn't. Okay. So looking good is in the key of A, and one of the licks goes like this, and that's the same as doing that in A, in E. But you're coming up here, and then he goes. And that's that, and this is a this would be a D, and this is the A, and back to the A. And it's just showing you that when you're playing in A here, you know, you know, so you don't have to play that exact one, but you're playing in A, and then you come up here. Say again. So I use these two fingers, and I I use these two to pluck, and then. And the, 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 there you go. And it, it gets, it gets, it doesn't start out, you don't start out pressing fully. It's like, it, it's like you start out with a little bit less pressure than when you end up and then you, you slide up to the pressure being full. And then, you, and, and also, you see these two notes? Those are in the, those are in the A blues scale, but they're also in the E blues scale. These notes. And, uh, you know, I don't know the theory, but the A and the E, the E is part of the, uh, you know, the A, A, the E is the five, right, so I right, guess right. that's why it's in there. The people, I mean, every, because I don't know shit on the guitar, and now uh, Sean over here is playing all this fancy stuff that he figures out by himself, and Connor does the same thing, it's like, I don't know shit. Now watch this. So just like we do the E turnaround, yeah. And this is actually a lesson that you know that I've been I've spoken about before that that just so long as you learn the patterns in the key of E, you can then play these patterns in any key on the fretboard. So here we're playing in the key of A, and the A chord is essentially just the E shape but barred on the fifth. So therefore, the, the various licks and turnarounds that we did in the key of E are now in the key of A. So watch. And 
then it's an e A chord. And also this. Uh, so all of the patterns that you know in E, you already know in A, you just start them at a different point. And we also know that we can go, that when we play south of the bar in the A, you can play the scale here too. As if I know how to do it, because I really don't, but... That sounds... There you go. So, right, so so the E you play... Uh, so on the A you play... It's the same pattern, it's just you're starting right. at a different point. That's just, I'm just hammering on, and then, and, and then with a little bend. By the way, a fun thing to do is that you can you can just play the first three like this, so that when well, that's an A, but it's I mean not really. And then also you can just take these two and go like this. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm putting the uh, ring finger on the seventh, I mean the middle finger on the seventh and the ring finger on the eighth. And actually, So I'm playing the, I'm on the fifth and the seventh uh, frets. I'm on the, I start on the third string. So da, 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 da. Now to the fourth string. Da, 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 da. Back to the third string. Da, 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 da. playing four notes on two strings and you can play this one too it's just the A it's just the A this is something again that when we're playing in the A scale or the G scale or any of the scales up the net where we're barring that the so here's your here's your A chord here's your A scale but always the 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 notes behind that are 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 also part of the scale so you can play
So those, so that when you're ad living, when you're mixing, when you're going from this, from this position to up to here, you know, those notes are part of the are the scale. And actually, you can see it because here you're playing your A chord, and those notes are part of the A scale going, as I showed you, down from the fifth fret. It's sense. It's, it makes sense. A little bit more. Watch this. So you know that when you play up here, your A chord is like this. Right. For, you're playing it in the key of E, and your B chord is here. All right, so now when you're playing an A up here, I, I, I don't know why, then this is this, where I'm just, I, actually I'm covering the fifth string with this, and then I'm covering the second, third, and fourth with my ring. Guess what, that's a D. And then if you move it up here, it's an E, and then a D, and an A. And it's exactly the same thing as A, B, A, A. Here it's A, D, E, D, A. So this is, that's a D chord. This is an E chord. Again, a D chord and your A chord. And your A chord here and your A chord here. I mean, I'm a complete lunatic, but in fact, this stuff fits together so that when you play the E shuffle, the four is A. So therefore, when you're playing in E, you can then take the, the blues scale stuff that you've learned in the key of A and fit it in when you're playing the shuffle in the key of E because the A is part of the E blues scale and it all fits together. And although I have no fucking idea why, apparently, you know, um, the Big Bang made it that way, so what the fuck am I going to do? Argue with the Big Bang? Fuck no. Yeah. The tip is this. When you're learning all of these new little riffs, you have to get it into your head. Da, 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 because da, 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 and it makes sense, you know, the, the, I mean, the, 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 the beat is the beat, but the melody is the melody, and the notes just, you know, they're, it's, it, you just play them on the, on the guitar, but you get it into your head first, and then it becomes easier to play it on the guitar. And you just play around. And eventually... Hello, everyone. My next-door neighbor, um, who is a very unique person, got me this little device and and i'm just playing with it for the first time and it turns out that the last little button is perfect description of my website and my videos check it out